just finally come in after about like four months. It is my Draeger M65, dated 1996, size two. I mean, 1966, I believe that's what it says inside. The rubber is a pretty good quality, still quite flexible. Here's the inlet valve, 40 millimeter DIN. Here's the rubber head harness. It is a five point head harness. I have the straps pre-adjusted. I like the oral nasal cup inside. It has an inner defogging system. So when you breathe in, this would open up and air would flow onto the lenses in case it did fog. I also like this carry strap. You can put it around your neck and just carry the mask when not in use. All right, so I'm gonna put it on and show you it. Got the mask on here. It's airtight. So I'm gonna screw in this NATO filter. Oops. It's just my P3 filter. Perfectly. And what are my thoughts on this mask? I think it's a pretty good mask. Good quality, but my only issue is um, the face seal. It sometimes go goes up like this, and then it breaks the seal. Um, this mask was designed in 1965 to replace its predecessor, the M62, in service with the West German Army, otherwise known as the Bundeswehr. And it was replaced, well, most of them, well, some of them are still in service, but it was mostly replaced by the M2000 in 2000. All right, right now I'm going to get a NBC filter out and do a quick vapor test. I'm gonna put the filter on. Not smell, the mask works. And I'm going to take it off and show you some things about this mask. Angular eye lenses and head harness. Here is the inlet valve. The M62 had a cover like this, except it couldn't come off and it had smaller openings on it. Overall, this is a pretty good quality mask and if you can find one for a good price, buy it. I got this one for about $15, no bag, no filter. Alright, this is all for this video, and goodbye.